Hey everybody, what's going on? So it's, what is it? Uh, 12.20 in the morning, <laughs> East Coast time, for anybody who's caring. Uh, this is going to be a sh eh, long-ish video, kind of, another about me video. Uh, I had some pretty, I had a pretty shitty Easter. It was mediocre at best, but it ended on a shitty note because my friend of... Oh, five, 14 years, I think, decided to have her new boyfriend call me up and, you know, tell me that I need to be a man and leave her alone. Like, okay. So, that was fun. It sucks being a rebound. I mean, we've known each other 14 whole years. I know her backstory. She knows mine. You know, we were intimate, you know. And whatnot. Never met though, but you know, we've met each other through uh, all poetry and whatnot, and we got really close and shit. You know, we'd have phone sex, and you know, it was fun for a while, and then after so long, you know, I got tired of it. <laughs> you know, it's like. <clears throat> I wanted a little more, I wanted, you know, more, you know, and she did too, but she kept going after all these idiots and back and forth and then she got hooked on drugs and alcohol and then in and out of uh, psych wards and shit. So it just, ugh, it sucked. And I don't know, it just, it really pissed me off because I'm like, you know, we've been, you know, we've been pretty fucking close for so long, you want to do this shit? Like, really, bitch? <laughs> but what makes it funny <laughs> is the fact that, you know, dude calls me up. Well, she texted me first tonight, and she's like, you need to stop. I'm like, the fuck did I? And then she's like, I'm taking you off my Facebook. I'm like, the fuck did I do wrong? I'm like, the fuck are you coming off of me for like that? I'm like, what the fuck did I do? And she's like, you're being sarcastic. I'm like, you may, uh, what? <laughs> I'm always sarcastic. <laughs> what is your deal? So she puts her man on the phone. This dude, <laughs> this dude cracks me up. This motherfucker. This motherfucker, right? He gets on the phone and he's like, hey, man, you need to just grow up and be a man, brother. Every fucking sentence ended with brother. Like, <clears throat> quit sucking Hulk Hogan's cock, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Mm. It sucks. It's like, I did, I do have feelings for her, but now it's like, no, I don't anymore. It's like, I'm done being somebody's fucking rebound. It's like, don't, and it, what's really stupid is she would call me up when she was high and horny just so we could have phone sex. That was it. Like, we talk for a while and then sex. I'm like, I don't know. It's just stupid. <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't, like, old me would have really lit into her. Because <sighs> here's how much I've matured since my younger days. Um, <clears throat> trying to hold the phone right. <laughs> well, actually, hold on a second. Uh, come here. Come here. <sighs> Tired of holding the fucking phone. There we go. Much better. Ooh, man, oh man. I just, like, I used to be really immature as fuck when I was younger, like, uh, late teens, early 20s and shit, and I would do a lot of dumb shit when people, you know, pissed me off or said shit to me or really made me mad, you know, I would, like, I would fucking incinerate the shit out of them, verbally. <laughs> That's how much fun I am. I'm a verbal, well, I was a verbal rapist. But not anymore. Hold on. Ah, come here. That might not work. Ah, that'll work.
Oh, come on, hold still. Perfect. Uh, much better. I didn't like looking down like, oh, there we go. So, you know, I would incinerate motherfuckers verbally. Like, I, if you told me your whole backstory, everything, little ass details, you know, I would, I would take those plus the big events in your life and rip you the fuck down about it. That's how bad I was. This damn glare. <sighs> And I could do that with her, but I'm not like that anymore. I'm fucking 33 years old this summer, and like I'm like, I'm not gonna resort to childish fucking tactics and shit now. And I'm downstairs because I wanted some food and I was hungry, so I figured, fuck it, let me do a video because I want to get this off my chest and shit. Because. <laughs> So, yeah, you know, being a rebound, it's not a fun feeling. It makes you feel like shit sometimes. I'm, thankfully, I've matured beyond, you know, crying about it and shit. Because normally, right now, I'd be crying about it. <laughs> I mean, I was upset, but I'm not that upset. Because I took, like, I talked to him and I told her, him, her. I can't even get my words out. I'm tongue tied. I told him, I was like, hey, joke's on you, you're gonna be the rebound. Click. <laughs> no! Fuck. <sighs> Damn. Okay, now I need these. There we go. <sighs> I got this sitting on uh, lotion, spray bottle, and I got markers for support. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> you don't believe me? Let me show you. <sighs> yep, that's my stand. <laughs> so, yeah. There we go. Uh, it's just, it's been rough. <laughs> so it's it, it's just it's a shitty it's a shitty way to end Easter or whatever the hell I don't know. Just bugs me. <laughs> Because I'm like, why in the hell, you know, would you literally, you know, do that shit? Oh, I was getting ready to fall again. I'm like, asshole. <laughs> I'm like, why in the hell would you do that shit? And, you know, you know, like, why would you do that shit? You know, like, why? It makes no sense. I mean, it's the pettiest thing you do is have your fucking new man, who is an ex, as I found out. <laughs> Dumb people shouldn't open their mouths so much. <laughs> like, well, we got history. I don't give a fuck about your history. You're going to be a goddamn rebound, too. Because <laughs> she's going to realize that, you know, all the good shit you're doing is going to push her back into, it's going to make her addict mindset, because she's also a former drug addict, still takes drugs now and then. And it's going to push that shit forward and she's gonna fucking explode or go back to just like ward Ooh. and i'm not giving her name out either so that's why this is like i'm like her him keeping it completely confidential because what happened you know like i respect her but the way she disrespected me last night i don't tolerate that shit that's fucking pathetic <sighs> I just hate it it's like you know you think you have something good going on and then all of a sudden they throw that shit in your face like really like I have feelings asshole <laughs> but yeah I could have done all that shit I could have been that verbal rapist I used to be but I'm not like that anymore but the point of this about me video is that you know it's more of thing like what pisses me off. And I should have said that in the beginning, but oh well. You're nine and a half minutes in. I think you'll figure it out. <clears throat> so, you know, that that's number one. That's like the number one thing that pisses me off lately. You know, as I've been as I've gotten older into my thirties, not a lot of shit pisses me off anymore. I mean, you get people who get pissed off about um uh 
character deaths on TV. Like, it pissed me off. And it's always a dude that's like, pissed me off so much. I'm like, dude, if you like that character a lot, you cried. No, it pissed me off, man. Ooh. I remember that shit with uh, Bloodwing and Borderlands, too. People were like, it pissed me off so much, bro. It pissed me off. Ooh. I'm like, no, you cried. And they joke about it. Like, I had a little tear and some stuff like that. He bawled. <laughs> Especially if you played as Mordecai in Borderlands 1. <laughs> like, go get him, bird! Explosive! No! <laughs> I don't know. It's just funny. Like, me, I cry at different things. And it just... Different things affect me. You know, when I get pissed, if, it's, if it ever happens... What the fuck are the cats doing? I have cats running around. <laughs> Nobody cats at 3 a.m. <laughs> anyway, but pissed off, you know, like, you know, what she did, that really pissed me off. Um, that's really about it. Like, I don't get super angry anymore like I used to. And oddly enough, I have bananas to thank for that. And then you're going to laugh because you're like, oh, what the fuck do bananas have to do with anything? Two or three a day, and I've been eating them since 2015, 16 maybe, give or take. Might be a couple years off on it. Um, yeah, I don't get pissed anymore. I have a good memory now. <laughs> I can remember things more clearly. And, you know, my focus is still a little off, but, yeah, that actually helps for me anyway. I don't know about what it would do for you. It might help you. It might not. I don't know. Um, you know, the <laughs> easiest fucking thing to eat is bananas unless you have a texture fucking issue. But I can't eat bananas. They're weird. You, know, you practice some sucking dick. <laughs> you probably shoved one in your ass. Hang your pussy. <laughs> oh man. But yeah, this is. It's it's how I feel. Like I look at the situation, and it's funny, because he ended every sentence with brother. I'm like, dude, no, like. Get off of Hulk Hogan's racist cock and act like a real adult. And she's a mom, too. That's what's really funny about this whole... That's the second thing that's funny about this. Is she's got kids and shit, and she wanted me, and I wanted her, but she flakes and decides to go for the bad boys over me because that's her safety net. That's what she's used to. You know, it's a used to thing. Um, it just, it's retarded. <sighs> it just, whatever. Being a rebound sucks. And I'm like, that's why I don't like dating. <laughs> because in my experience, since I've tried dating many times over the past 10 years, I had a nail on my finger. Um, I've either been ghosted, flaked, or blocked. And it's really sad. It's like, <sighs> it's a frustrating thing. It really, really is. Because you really want to, <sighs> damn, this thing is pissing me off. It sucks. It's like you want to be accepted. Pardon me. <laughs> it's like you want to, you put yourself out there and you hope that somebody will actually, you know, see that you're worth it. Unless you're the type that you're bullshitting through everything just to get laid, which is really dumb. But if you're honest and sincere like me and you get you know what's going on and shit and you want to try to connect and whatnot then good that's 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 a good thing it's just it sucks
This mother, there we go, I got it. All gone, much better. Bothering me. <laughs> I hate it, because I get that shit where it's, let me see. Eh, it's where it's a side, beside my nail, you ever get that shit? Mm, annoying. <laughs> but anyway, I keep getting off track here. Um, you know, I, I don't get pissed as much. When I used to get pissed, like, I would, I was not cool to be around. Like, it would take me my worst meltdown took me, hmm, I think a week to cool off. Yeah, it was bad. I go and self mutilate and bleed everywhere. Um, yeah, that's how I handled, you know, being pissed off. You know, I pick my, I pick every scab that I had going on, bleed, and you know, kept going at it till you know I felt better. And as a result, I have some very <sighs> immortal scars on my arms and my legs and my back sucks i hate it <laughs> it's really hard but you know i'm not gonna you know self mutilate over this shit man it's not worth my time honestly but i probably will because force of habit and it's hard to break a habit like that because you can't just walk up somebody stop picking at your scabs like it doesn't work that way like nah i don't <laughs> Uh, when I'm, you know, tiny bit pissed, it's more just, you know, fuck you, go to hell, I don't give a shit. But now I look at this situation, I laugh at it, because dude, it sounds like Hulk Hogan, she's an idiot. He's an idiot, he's a bigger idiot. <laughs> and my standards are higher than ever. And it's so funny. Like, my standards are simple as fuck. They're so damn simple. <laughs> and people, for some reason, I can't get women to comprehend them. Like, women don't get it. People don't get it. Like, if you say you have high-ass standards, <sighs> damn. Yeah, tired. And my bladder's calling, so I'm going to hold this off for a little bit. Um... But, like, real quick, like, my standards are so simple. Loyalty, show me loyalty for a year. Wait, originally it was going to be a year as well, but I've amended it a hair. Uh, wait six months before we have sex. And before we have sex, you know, be willing to get tested for STDs together. That's it. Three simple fucking things. But apparently when you bring up getting tested together for STDs, women freak the fuck out. <laughs> I'm like, what do you have to hide? Like, it's sexual safety. It's sex safety, dude. <laughs> like, you know, I'm waiting because that's why I'm still a virgin because, you know, I value that shit. If I'm, gonna, if I'm dating a woman and, you know, I give her my virginity and shit. Um, you know, it's gone. It, there's no take backs on that shit. There's no take backs whatsoever. It's like, if I'm really going to give it to you and I want you to have it, you know, it's because, you know, you're the one, I trust you. You know, you're the one in my life that I want to keep around forever. That's the whole purpose of that shit. People today don't take virginity seriously. I do take it seriously. I mean, hell, I haven't had a relationship in a decade. That's why I'm so stingy on dating, because I can't find a fucking woman that wants to just dig. I can get to a simple meetup for food and drink without her thinking I'm trying to get in her pants right after. Bitch, I'm going to have food baby going on. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, it's like, I'm going to be more concerned. If I do get up to a meetup, though, I'm going to be more concerned with trying to abort food baby to the porcelain goddess and hope to God I don't cut too many farts and scare your ass off. 
<laughs> I want to get to know you. I don't want to get to fuck you. <sighs> oh, man. It's so, it's so stupid. It's funny, this was about being pissed off and then evolved into dating and shit. That's me, scrambled brain. <sighs> I do feel a lot better unloading. <laughs> it helps. Might be a long ass video, but eh, you get the point. You know, it's like, just don't piss me off. You know, I mean, it's okay. It's okay to piss me off a tiniest bit because I'm not going to get super pissed at you. But if you like go and, you know, treat me like shit or treat me like a rebound, I'm like, <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. No, I'm not like that because I'm not I'm not a violent person. I don't get like that. I really don't. I don't. I'm not the type that's gonna, you know, you know, throw fists or you know, shove some girl around because she pissed me the fuck off. Like, no, I don't do that. If I get that pissed off, I sit down in front of my console and I play whatever game till I'm cooled off. That's how I decompress. <laughs> you know, I'll sit there, I'll play Borderlands Two or Gears Three, and just you know, kill so many motherfuckers until, you know, I'm like, <sighs> I'm like, okay, now we can talk. Because I'm not going to light into a motherfucker and incinerate him like I used to. Because that's pointless and shit. So. There you go. Now you know a little bit more about me. And all that fun stuff. What am I going to do with her? I don't know. I've got her on ignore on my phone. So that's a step in the right direction. Damn, I want to clip my nail. Sorry, I'm distracted. <laughs> Squirrel. Where? <laughs> I do have ADHD, by the way. I'm probably a little bipolar. Maybe some other shit. I don't know. CPTSD I have. That, I think having that makes me able to uh, break down situations a lot more better and simplify them to make them funnier because... As much, as much as I laugh at shit that hurts, sometimes I really do want to cry at it so I know that it hurts inside, you know? It's like, eh, it really hurt me. But it's difficult to actually do that, so. Oh, well. I mean, different things make me cry, and, I'm, you know, I'll go into that video another time. But for right now, I am going to get off of here because I got to piss like a motherfucking elk. So, until next time, like and subscribe, I thought they were prayers.